Bing! Greetings all! Last Outrider here, bringing you part six of the Age of Sigmar. This time we're talking about servants of the Lost Prince, the armies of excess. Slanesh, the god of excess, is missing. Absent from the pantheon of chaos and the schemes of the damned. Rumors abound that during the Age of Myth, the Dark Prince was stolen away as he lay glutted on the souls harvested at the destruction of the world that was. Whatever his fate, his followers reave and despoil still. The scions of Selenesh fight on in the manner of their hideous patron. Lurid possessions of demonettes still prowl the mortal realms, enticing the unweary to a fate of excess, debauchery, and death. Keepers of secrets yet vie for power with a greater frenzy than ever. For should they find and free their master, he will surely lavish untold blessings upon them. <clears throat> Across every realm, armies of excess scour the land for signs of their liege. Countless millions of men, elves, and Dwarden have died, their fastnesses burned by the reaving bands of chaos-worshipping mortals, demons, and beastmen intent on their search. And they are the fortunate ones. Those less so are broken by the pleasure-seekers who desperately, frantically unleash every imaginable cruelty upon their victims in the faint hope of feeling their lost God's presence once more. Now that's interesting. <clears throat> now if anybody watched my 40k videos, Slanesh has always been an interesting chaos power to me because it's the only one where its origin is clearly defined in the 40k universe. I mean, it goes without question. The fall of the Eldar led to the birth of Slanesh. How that tied into the fantasy battle and the rest and everything like that, there's got to be some connection here. And that's, that's not a part of the 40k universe you can just recant and say, ah, no, that didn't happen. My personal belief has always been that Slanesh cannot let the Eldar die out. I mean, she who thirsts, this is her, one of her whole points of existence is to eat the rest of the Eldar. So if they, once they're all eaten, well, what do you do? My theory or hypothesis has always been that Slanesh is going to have to rekindle the Eldar in some way. And now that in Age of Sigmar, the Eldar are now elves and things like that, there's going to be, there's going to be some plan where Slanesh is used to defeat Zinch's plan to destroy the rest of the Chaos Pantheon. That's my guess. Right now, with everything that's going on in Age of Sigmar and Warhammer and 40k, anything could freaking happen. But I think it's going to be tied up something like that. And until next time, we're going to talk about a new Chaos Power, one that many of you have been waiting around a long time to hear about, Nars 
of the creation's soul, children of the horned rat. It's official. It's here. Until next time, bye.